having been a kid in Chicago, I had I was used to playing in an alley, frankly. So this was like one of my little areas, you know. We came down, went out that side door on this particular day, and there sitting in the in Whiskey Shoot was this was the Memphis Jug Band. Of course I didn't know it was the Memphis Jug Band then. It took me years to find out who these people were. But it was Will Shade, Will Shade and Charlie Birch and good kid Charles playing the washboard and somebody I never did find out playing the violin. And Will was playing the tub bass and singing, come on down to my house, honey, there's nobody home but me. And I had never seen anything, seen or heard anything like it in my life. I mean, 1950, 51, you know, think about what was on the radio. I might have heard a little uh, Boogie Woogie, a little Dixieland, but in terms of primitive black music, very, WDIA was on the air, but I didn't know it yet, you know, the black radio station in Memphis. But after seeing the Jug Band, uh, of course, I got to see the one song, and then my father made me leave. But nothing else really interested me much anymore but that music and the idea of that music and the fact that it was obviously within arm's reach. You know, these people that were playing this music were just right down the street. But in 1950, as a white kid, I couldn't get there. You know, it took me six, seven, eight years to really find out where that music was and get to it. 